Mr. Businessman card is perfect for anybody starting a new job or even getting their first job. The business. The biz. Mm. This is the Mr. Businessman 6x6 card. Um, this is great for uh, so many different occasions. You've got quite a few different sentiments with this set. Um, happy retirement, get well soon, happy birthday and thinking of you. But you've also got ways to customise it even further um, by changing what's said on the actual screen of the, the telephone there. Um, or you could actually put your own in if you want to. You could write something in there or you could stamp a sentiment inside there if you want to. There's lots of different ways to customise this. Um, like it says on there, if you've got a retirement or it says there's the best one there I think is thinking of you. Um, mainly because the thinking of you one could be used for quite a few different occasions. Now I think this card just screams um, first job. So if you've got somebody in your family or you know somebody who um, particularly maybe a, a young man who's just starting his very first job um, then this would be perfect for that occasion. Um, or if somebody's starting a new job could even be so something like that I think you know it does lend itself for quite a few different um, different occasions so let's go ahead and get started with the construction of this one now um, I'm going to do it slightly different to how you can see it here um, where we've got the backing paper um, with the, the the starburst going upwards that way um, on this one so it's lighter at the bottom and darker at the top I'm actually going to turn that one around this time and actually do it that way so that it's all coming from the top like a, like a burst of fireworks so I'm going to change it around and use that one I'm going to use it instead of it saying happy birthday uh, I'm going to do the thinking of you uh, sentiment so let's go ahead and do that so first thing we're going to do then is just remove the stuff that we're not going to use in this instance, I'm going to put that out of the way up there. So I'm going to remove that one, remove that. There is a big gift tag too, um, included with the kit. But again, I'm not going to use that in the uh, construction of the card. There's two separate panels, um, smaller panels that you can use. One saying thinking of you, one saying lots of love. Now, I would typically use these on the inside of the card if you're not putting an insert in there. Or you can put an insert, a plain insert and stick that onto the um, inside back. Um, I'm going to use the circle one today, I'm not going to use that one, but I'll put it to one side and use it at a later date. So everything that we're going to use is here. So I've even got some faux buttons that I'm going to do on there. There are quite a few, I think there's three sets of three, so you've got nine faux buttons. So I've already gone ahead and um, stuck my adhesive and my foam pads to all the pieces that I'm going to be using because you don't really want to be watching that. So let's go ahead and get started with the construction. So I'll clear some space out there. Everything to one side and then we can get going with step number one. So as I've said previously, this is a six by six card. So I always make my own card blanks. So this one's cut from an A4 card um, at 148 by 148. Okay, so the panels are already pre sized to fit with a nice little border. But you can, there's still enough room there for you to map that onto another piece if you wanted to, to add a little bit of extra dimension to it. So let's go ahead and get our card blank covered with that. It's just trying to work out what you did with this pokey tool. There it is. I think cards for um, boys stroke young men of a certain age are really, really difficult. Um, and I think this one would be just ideal for that age group. So, okay, so place that on the card. Let's see if we've got a nice even border all the way around. Just bring it that way a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Okay, so we've now got that down. Okay, so the next step is to stick down our faux, no it isn't, it's to put our polka dot sheet across there. So I'll add that on. So without this across the middle, 
I think this card would look very um, cold because there's lots of blue in there but I think adding the, the yellow in kind of tones it back a little bit uh, particularly with the, the skin tones so it just adds that little bit of extra depth to it without it I think it would be quite cold looking but you can add in whatever colour you want to um, you know some of the elements in there have got a kind of reddish brown look to them um, so you could swap out whatever backing paper you wanted to if you thought you had one that you know fitted better okay so that's that down so we're now going to add our faux note paper so it looks as though there's holes in there but actually there isn't uh, there's a staple and a, a pretend paper clip on there as well but you can add those actually add a proper real paper clip on there if you want to you can put one here just stick that over the top just to add a bit more realism to it if you wanted to and stick that down like that I might add that later so let's get the back off here okay so we're going to add that at a bit of an angle and I'm sticking that down flat so there's no depth on there at all so far yeah, you could put that on foam pads if you wanted to but I'm going to just stick it down flat I'm going to originally I put tape on the back of this not thinking that you know I needed to raise it up but actually looking at it I think I'm going to raise it up and start putting some pads on there so you'll have to excuse me when I just quickly add those on I must have gone pad blind in a frenzy of adding tape but that's the beauty with um, card making you can change your mind at any time yeah I think that definitely looks better with the um, with the dimension on there okay peel the backs off Come on, that's it. And the last one. Actually, I think I'm going to cover up that paper clip and put him on like so. Cool. That looks good already. Okay, so we're going to add on our next our next piece. So already pre-padded up, so that will go on over like so. Can't really see the dimension from until I lift it up to the camera to see it, but it does look pretty good. Even if I do say so myself. I'm hardly gonna say it looks rubbish, am I? Okay. Last one again. Okay. So turn it around so I can get better. Ah, now then. Just spotted a little issue. I've taken the foam pad a bit too far one to one side. And you can actually see it. So I'm just going to snip that out. Because I don't like it. There we go. I'm not a perfectionist, but I just know what I like. Okay, so I'm going to line the points up there, and then line the points up there, and if I've got that in the right place, then I think everything else just falls into the right place. There you go. And then we've got the last decoupage layer, which will be the telephone. So again, pre-padded up for speed and ease. I say ease. The backs of foam pads are always a constant source of consternation. Okay, so again, line that up with the bottom, and then everything else should just fall into place. Okay, so we've got the last layer to go on, which is the, the sentiment, and this tones in quite nicely with the colour. So just three small foam pads on that one. 
And then once this is done, all we have to do is to add our little buttons. So same as before, line the corners up and straight down. Brilliant. Looking good. And then you can see the dimension there. Very cool, very cute. Okay, so we said we were going to stick that to the inside of the car. Let's take our back of our tape. And we can put that right in the middle. Plenty of time, plenty of space up there to write. Cute, cute, cute. Right, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to actually stick these buttons down flat uh, rather than raise them on pads um, and I'm going to try and get them down bottom here now on the sample that I've made I put them down there um, but I'm not sure I want to put them on there now or do they get lost down there you see this is the beauty you can really do what you want or should we try and get them down yeah let's get them on the yellow that looks a lot better doesn't it so I'm going to use a little bit of wet glue, he says. And then tweezers, if I can find or remember what I did with them. No, ah, there they are. There's my little tweezers. So I'm going to put one in the middle. Straight down. Now this is just straightforward craft PVA, so if you get any on it, it doesn't matter. It'll just dry clear. And then just a tiny little blob in the middle of each one. And that literally, I think, is going to do everything you need. So again, down. Because it's wet, you've got plenty of time maneuver it into, into place. If you're not happy with it you can always change it and then drop that one and just move that with my tweezers until I'm happy with it. And there you go. One finished thinking of you teenager first job change of job, you name it, multiple uses, multiple applications. The only thing you need to know is that you've got a happy young man. Very, very happy to receive something as nice as that. So a bit of a tidy up before I put any other embellishments on, because I'm going to get the glossy accents out. And what I'm going to do on there is I'm going to put glossy accents on the buttons because I think they need to be shiny. It's simple to apply. And I'm also going to put glossy accents on the screen, just on the screen of that smartphone. So I'm just going to trace the outline first, because when that goes on, that will stay where it is and then form a natural barrier to stop it from leaking over anywhere else. So there, now we can just go back in and fill that with the rest, just using the nozzle and just bring it down, down, small circular motions, just squeezing the bottle gently. So you're getting an even application of the glossy accents coming out at the same time. And you can just move it around if you're not happy. Brilliant. Okay, so that's that. That's the glossy accents on there. I don't know if you noticed I put glossy accents on the screen of the last one. You see, it just makes it look a lot more like a proper smartphone. And I've obviously missed it from the hands 
because you wouldn't have shiny hands. And I've added some on his eyes as well, so I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of the glossy accents uh, back onto his eyes again, just to give him a little bit of excited gleam. And again, like so. What I'm also going to do is, because I've got lots of stars up here now, what look like stars, is I'm just going to go back in and add a little bit of glitter glue. That's it. It's not coming out properly. It is now. Because, like I say, it does dry flat. Which I think will have a slight blockage on that glitter glue. Let's see if I can find a piece of scrap card. And just that's more like it. I think it may be coming to the end of its life. There's not as much in there as there used to be. Overused and overworked. There we go. And there's a few little stars. In there, we can just add a little bit of glimmer and shine to just to tie it in. Be careful not to smudge your glossy accents there. And just add one there and one drop there. Perfect, that will do nicely. So that's our six by six. Mr. Businessman thinking of you card. Okay, all done. I hope you enjoyed watching the demonstration and you'll join us again for the next one. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.